Hey guys, Jason here with Quantum Courses, and in this tutorial, we'll be going over how to set up your spread shop and start page on the popular spread shirt print on demand platform. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notifications bell so you'll get notified each time I release a new tutorial. On Spreadshirt, you can easily create your own e-commerce store called a spread shop to organize and display your designs and products. This provides shoppers with a place to view all of your designs and products in a more structured manner. In this video, not only will we be going over how to set up your spread shop, but also how to create an attention grabbing landing page, which is called your start page on Spreadshirt. Once activated, your start page will be the first thing people see when they go to your spread shop. Building your spread shop and start page will allow you to display your brand, products, and your messaging in a unique and creative way. We've already gone over how to upload designs to Spreadshirt in our previous tutorial, so now let's go through the process of building our spread shop. If you haven't watched the Spreadshirt design upload and product creation video yet, you can view it on my channel page. So go ahead and log into Spreadshirt, and let's get started with creating our spread shop. Once you've logged in, go ahead and look up at the top right and click on your account drop-down menu. To get started, Let's click on the Overview tab to go over to our dashboard. Here's where you can view all of your notifications, see your sales, and manage your account. To create your start page, you'll need to have some designs uploaded, so hopefully you watched our previous tutorial. For my example spread shop, I've already uploaded a few designs that I plan to add to my start page. So after you've added about 5 or 6 designs, look at the menu on the left hand side, go all the way down to the bottom, and click on the little plus sign icon here. This is where you go when you're ready to set up your spread shop. When you click the tab, you'll see a window pop up explaining the benefits of your spread shop. Once you're ready, go ahead and click on the open shop button. You'll then see another box pop up where you can name your shop. I'm going to name my example shop the same name I use for all of my example stores, Quantum Designs. Once you're finished, go ahead and click on the open shop button. This will then take you to a page where you can select a theme for your store. They have several different themes you can select from depending on your design and style preference. For my spread shop, I think I'll just go with the first theme here, which is the minimal theme. Once you select your theme, you'll then be able to add your logo to your shop. You have the options to simply use your store name or upload your brand logo if you have one. I currently have my store name selected, which you can see here, but let's select logo and upload my brand image. When you select the logo option, you'll see a box pop up where you can upload your image with a recommended size of 380 by 68 pixels. Go ahead and click the box, find your image, and upload your logo. Once your logo finishes uploading, you'll see it replace your shop name and your shop preview on the right hand side. Once you've added your logo, you can then select the colors for your shop. The first option here allows you to change the colors of important buttons and active elements. You have several options to choose from depending on your brand colors. For my example brand, I think I'll go with this color here. Once you select a color for your page elements, you can also choose a background color for your products. Simply click the icon here and select the color from the box. For my store, I think I'll just leave this as white for now. Once you finish adding your logo and selecting your colors, go up to the top right and click on the save button. You'll then see your checklist pop up showing that you just set up your spread shop. But there's still a ton we gotta do, so go ahead and click on continue. We'll then be taken to the activate shop page, but we're not ready to do this yet, so let's go to the top left and click on the general tab. From the general menu, you can add your shop info and SEO, your legal info, and activate your shop which is the page we were just on. While we're here, let's go ahead and add our shop info and SEO. This is where you can update or add your shop name, description, and your shop URL. Your shop name and description should match your spread shop to improve your search engine ranking. Underneath your URL name, you can also see a preview of how your shop details will look in search engines. Once you're finished, go ahead and click on the Apply Changes button, then go back up to the top left and click on the General tab. If you like, you can also update your legal information here, which is simply your business name, address, and other information. Once you're finished, go ahead and go up top and click here to go to the previous shop settings page. So we've already gone through the general tab, now let's check out the page settings. 
here's where you go to start setting up your Spread Shop Start page. Let's click the Start Page tab and check out the settings. Here's where you can set up your shop landing page or start page by setting up elements such as your teaser, your heading and brand description, and your product previews. If it's not already, make sure your start page is activated by clicking the tab here. In this tutorial, we'll be setting up a basic start page to help you get started. Hopefully you've already uploaded some product designs to Spreadshirt to add to your start page as well. So the first thing we're gonna add is our teaser. Let's click that now. Here's where you can add your shop cover image, your headline and description, and a call to action. If you don't already have a cover image for your store, you can search the library here to find a good image for your shop. Feel free to browse the images here, but if you like, you can also upload your own custom background image. If you click the upload a file box here, you can upload your own custom 1400 by 400 pixel background image. For my shop, I've already created a custom teaser graphic using Canva. If you need help creating your logo, banners, or even your t-shirt designs, make sure you click the link below to check out Canva Pro. They have tons of pre-made design templates that you can use for your store graphics. When you sign up using the link in the video description, not only will you get access to the t-shirt design and banner templates, but also tons of royalty-free images that you can use for your designs, professional text templates, and even the background remover tool that allows you to remove the background from any image. With Canva Pro, you can easily make your image larger and download your design with a transparent background. Canva Pro is a must-have for print-on-demand sellers. To try Canva Pro free for 30 days, make sure you click the link in the video description. So now that I've created my banner, let's click on Upload a File and find my banner and add it to my store. Once your teaser graphic finishes uploading, you'll see it appear in the Upload Image box here and also in your preview on the right-hand side. Now that our store has a banner, we can now go down and add a headline and description. This will be the main text that goes at the top of your page and in front of your banner. Make sure your headline and description accurately describes your store and grabs your customer's attention. Once you add your headline and short description, you can then go down and edit your call to action. Right now I have a button selected, which you can see under my short description on my preview here. But you can also change your call to action to a search bar so customers can search your products on your start page. For my shop, I think I'm gonna use the button. In the text box here, you can also change what your button says, but I'll leave mine as shop now. Under the text box, you can use this drop down menu to select where you want your button to point your customers. I don't have much in my store yet, so I'm just gonna leave it on all products. Also, make sure you check the tabs here to make sure all your elements are enabled. Once you're finished, make sure you go down to the bottom and click on apply changes. Now that we've created our teaser, Let's go back to the main menu and select the next element for our start page. Since we've already uploaded a few designs to Spreadshirt, let's edit our product preview tab. Here's where you can edit the featured products that customers will see when they visit your start page. I've already uploaded some designs, but I haven't created any products yet. So let's click on the create products button here and see if we can add some products to my start page. This will take you to the page where you can view the designs that you've uploaded to Spreadshirt. Although all of your published designs should already be for sale on Spreadshirt, they still haven't been added to your Spreadshop sales channel yet. If you click the edit button on the designs you want to add to your Spreadshop, it'll take you to a page where you can edit the sales channels for your design. Simply click the edit button in the sales channels section and it'll take you to a page where you can activate your Spreadshop as one of your sales channels. Make sure you click the tab here to activate your Spreadshop. Once you're finished, Go down to the bottom and click on apply. If you look at the bottom right hand corner of the design I just added to my spread shop, you'll see my shop icon up here. This confirms that my spread shop is now one of the sales channels for this design. Go ahead and go through the same process for all the designs you wanna to add to your spread shop. Once you're finished, go ahead and check over all the designs you selected and make sure you see the spread shop icon at the bottom right. If everything looks good, let's look at the menu on the left hand side and click on our shop tab. We can then click on page settings, then click here to go back to our start page menu. From the start page menu, scroll back down and go to the product preview tab. As you can see, my page preview now shows my featured products. If you like, you can click here to sort your product list. You can also update your section headline and button. For my shop, 
I think I'll change my headline to featured products and my button to view more. Once you're finished, go ahead and click apply changes at the bottom. Now that we've updated our product preview, let's go back to our start page menu. So the next thing I want to update is my about the shop section. Some sections may be deactivated, so make sure you click the tab here to activate the sections you want to add to your shop. If we scroll down on the preview on the right hand side here, we can see that the about the shop section has been added to my storefront. So let's check out the menu and see how we can customize this section. For my headline, let's change this to something a bit more fun. You can also add a short description to provide customers with more details about your product or brand. You can also upload an image to this section, but an even cooler feature is that you can embed a video. In order to grab customers' attention when they visit your shop, a video will work much better than a standard image. But if you prefer to use an image, the recommended size is 664 by 400 pixels. But for my shop, I'm going to add a video. I've already used Canva to create a cool animated video to add to my store. If you want to learn how to create animated videos for your products in store, make sure you check out the full tutorial on my channel. Once you're finished creating your video, simply upload it to YouTube, copy the link, then post it in the video URL box here. Once you paste in your link, go ahead and click the Embed Video button and you should see an image of your video appear in the menu and in your shop preview on the right hand side. You can also see your headline and short description beside your video on your preview page. Once you're finished, make sure you click the Apply Changes button down at the bottom. Now that we're finished with our About the Shop section, let's go back to our Start Page main menu. The next thing I think I'll activate on my Start Page is my Trust Elements. Trust Elements, of course, provide you with a way to build trust with your customers. Activating your Trust Elements will add a section to your shop that explains the benefits of your brand on Spreadshop. This makes new customers much more comfortable and can even lead to more sales. Once you've activated your trust elements, make sure you click apply changes down at the bottom. Then let's go back to our start page main menu. So the last section I think I'll add for my start page example is the follow us section. Here's where you can add a section that displays links to all of your social media brand pages. But before you can add them to your spread shop, you'll first have to link your social media pages to your Spreadshirt account. Let's click the link social media button to do this now. This should take you to the social media links menu. Let's go ahead and click the button here to add a new link. You can then search through the icons here and find the social media account you want to add. For this example, I think I'll just add my Facebook brand page. So let's select the Facebook icon, then go down to the bottom and click on continue. In the text box here, simply enter your channel name. Once you're finished, Go down to the bottom and click on the apply changes button. Feel free to go ahead and add your other social media pages as well. Once you're finished, go ahead and click the navigation menu up top and let's head back to our start page follow us menu. Now that I've linked my Facebook brand page to my Spreadshirt account, I can now activate the follow us section and add a headline and short description. Once you're finished, you'll see the follow us section with your headline, your short description, and your social icons appear in your shop preview on the right hand side. Your customers will now be able to click your social icons and be taken to your brand pages. Make sure you go down to the bottom and click on apply changes. To finish up, I think I want to remove this last section on my shop teaching people how to get started on Spreadshirt. Although it's cool, I don't think I want it on my start page. So let's go back to the start page menu. Go down to the bottom and edit the custom tool banner section. To remove any section from your start page, simply go to the menu and deactivate it by clicking the button here. Whenever you make any changes, make sure you go down and click on the blue apply changes button. So for my start page, I now have my teaser, my product preview, my about the shop section, my trust elements, and the follow us section with my Facebook brand page. To get started, I think that's all I'll need for my shop for now, but feel free to add even more sections and elements to your shop if you like. So let's look up top and click on the launch shop button. And voila, you've just activated your spread shop and start page. Now that it's been launched, let's head over to my spread shop and check it out. So here's my spread shop start page that we just created. We have my brand logo at the top, my teaser with my banner, 
my headline and description, and a button to my products. My featured products, which you can change or rearrange if you like. My about the shop section with my headline, description, and my video. My trust elements, and my social media links. When customers visit your shop, they can click your social media links to visit your brand pages. If you scroll all the way back up to the top, you can also search through all the products in your shop by using the menu here. If we click on hoodies and sweatshirts, we can see all of your designs that are available on the hoodies and sweatshirts on Spreadshirt. Customers can easily browse through your products, select the one they like, and make a purchase. So that's a quick overview of how to build a basic spread shop start page. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.